Divine providence, that's what the leaders of the Redemptoris Mater Seminary say they will rely on from now on to continue their operations. Members of the Redemptoris Mater Seminary addressed the media today to respond to a seminary report released by an ad hoc committee put together by temporary Archdiocese Administrator Archbishop Savio Hantai Fai. The committee report confirms some of the suspicions many have had about the Jotunus Seminary's practices, such as creating priests who aren't ready for religious life, that they aren't U.S. accredited, or that they're taking in more money than the Archdiocese can afford. But the RMS is disputing this, saying that they work with a program approved by the Lateran University that includes two years of philosophy and four years of theology. They also dispute the amount they receive from the Archdiocese in subsidies. On the financial year of 2016, the Archdiocese of Agana listed a subsidy for the Redemptor Smotter Seminary of $92,450. Of these, $64,800 was remuneration to the clergy, which every diocese is obliged to pay. And therefore, the real subsidy for Redemptor Smotter was only $26,100. During uh, FY 2016, the priests related to the Redemptor Smotter Seminary donated to this institution $46,150 out of their salary. The real amount of the Archdiocesan support to the seminary on 2016 was therefore only 5%, 5% of the total budget. And with that, RMS board member Dr. Ricardo Eusebio announced that they will discontinue their, depends, their dependence rather, on the Archdiocese of Agania for their subsidies. The subsidy from the Archdiocese to Redemptor Smotter Seminary and the Theological Institute has been an average of only 5% of the total budget in the last fiscal year. Even though this amount is minimal, and the Archdiocese saves about $39,000 per year. If a seminary were to study in the mainland, the Redemptor Smother Seminary will be honored, will be honored to rely from now on totally on divine providence. You can read the RMS's full response online at pacificnewscenter.com.